Uh, since the steep didn't work in the previous video, it gets a video of itself. Um, so the biggest problem I had is it wouldn't read anything at all. It would make a horrible squeaking noise. Uh, and uh, the biggest improvement was actually simple to get. It was just cleaning the head and the guides here. And there was some gunk from the magnetic stuff from the tape. I uh, just did a simple thing, clean it with alcohol swabs. Uh, so it started to read with errors, uh, which tells me that transport is good, but the electronics needs to be adjusted. That's normal, that's the beginning of tape. That's no good. I just had one. Another one. This is worse than it used to be. It's reading now. Yeah, one, one reread right there. Another one right here. So the adjustment, uh, you have to throw it into diagnostic mode with those two switches S1 and S2 then you have to remove the Pertec connectors J1 and J2 and then there's 10 pots um, uh, that's uh, power supply to 5 volt that's easy peasy uh, and then you have one here that's for the uh, preamble uh, right current and then you have the 9 channels with their gains um, uh, so to complete the setup here, I'm looking at a channel, it's pin 3, and here there's a, a test signal it's called uh, EnvSum, that's the uh, envelope signal that you can trigger on. Uh, so then, I just turn it on, there we go, and now the keys change when they are in test mode. Uh, if I remember what I can they do, I think you just do load. There you go. All right, and it has two mode. It has 6250 and 1600. So and it's going to read continuously, write and read continuously. So that's a 6250. And there you can tell now I'm adjusted properly. Um, I have a nice and steady preamble, and then the data stream. Um, and I had to adjust here the uh, preamble amplitude with that right pot. And then uh, you can stop it. Well, it wasn't that button, this one. And you press it a second time. Now it's at 1600. <laughs> and the tape moves a lot faster. And now you have the 1600 stuff. You can see some dropouts. Uh, but uh, there you adjust the preamble, uh, you adjust the gain, the read gain, so that's that part over here. And I had to adjust it for all the channels. That one was completely off, actually, I think there was a problem connecting to the head, it was way too small. Uh, so that's probably the one that uh, caused me problems. So they are all adjusted now, we'll see if uh, the tape works again. Alright, so I, I like to use this uh, Overland uh, software that worked with my parallel port tape, but it works also with the um, SCSI one. It has a nice test. Uh, it will uh, write 16K blocks 250 times and then read them. And I don't do it, yes. And. Uh, Previously, I had, uh, it would do it, but it would retry a lot. Uh, let's see if uh, after adjusting the level, it goes better. And that's normal. That's not a retry, just a start. And the goal here is to have this go continuously. Well, that's much better than before. Way, way better. Okay. Yeah, before, I would have retried like two or three times already.
So it's going to write 250 records. And so far it hasn't stopped. Which is very good. Okay, there was no retry at all. This is basically perfect in writing. Let's see if reading goes equally well, it should. It's reading flawlessly. And a whole bunch of locks. You can see it progressing over here. It's a hundred records now. Okay, no errors, no retries, no retries. It was already working with an errors, but no retries even. So it tells me basically it passed and uh, zero errors of any kind. So it's resurrected, great.